Yo, V, what's the word, bro? This truth teller from We Are The Truth Tellers. Yeah, what's happening, bro? Man, I'm cooling, bro. I appreciate you letting me chop it up with you. Yes, sir. I'm blessing to you, man. It's man, blessing. for the people who ain't exactly hip to what's going on right now, let the world know exactly what your name is and exactly where you're from. Man, it's your boy, Vinny, man. I was from Chicago, low-end stand-up niggas. I already know I'm rocking, man. You know, Chicago been trending lately, bro. You know, this last week, it's been a lot of shit going down in Chicago. V, I want to keep it real with you, bro. I don't want to front with you. I want to get right into it, bro. Why the shorties killing each other, bro? Mm-hmm. I want to know, why is these shorties out here killing each other? Why is they shooting each other? Why everybody angry at each other? Well, then the best solution to give you to that is that um, it's starting from home. You see what I'm saying? Because first of all, it ain't no kids out here getting no love at home. Because if they was getting that love at home, they wouldn't be out here reckless, you know, doing the things they doing. So as they going to school, seeing what they friends and them guys, they like, man, I want it too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But their parents ain't giving them that same love. They saying they friends gave from their parents. So what they doing is they go out there to the streets and that's where they find they love it because they guys, you know, buying them stuff or getting them high whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? They just right. go that way to the sh- streets, you feel me? Right. I mean, what what is it about the street life, though, for an urban kid? Because it seemed like, no disrespect, I know the violence going on everywhere, but it seemed like in Chicago, um, it seemed like just all the young people just mad at each other, bro. You know, is this shit ever going to slow down? Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's just like, you know, I don't really know what's going on. And the kids out here, they, they, it's the money. Uh. You see what I'm saying? It's the money, you know, everybody got, you know, needs. They need to help them through their daily life, you know what I'm saying? And people doing anything for, like, money, you know what I'm saying? Mm. These days, and it's so crazy. Is rap the only opportunity for a young kid, though? No, it ain't the only um opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who done became um stars, who became rappers or whatsoever. You know, they got their money and got in and got out, and they took it back home and they, you know, did things with their money the nice way. You know, invest the money and property and things right. like that. You know. You know, when you speak that low end in Chicago, that neighborhood kind of famous, bro. Now I want to know if if, if 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 you got a young kid just moved to that community, right, and he just got over there this week, bro. Do he got to join the gang in order to fit in, or can he be his own man? No, man, he don't got to do none of that. He can um, be his own man. But some days, you know, these kids just go off of peer pressure. You feel me? Wow. That's what a lot of them do. You know, these days, but you know, long as that boy got his head up high, like he's supposed to, you know what I'm saying? The man on his own, too, can't let them guys know he ain't with all that. Right. Man, they gonna respect that, man. The real ones respect that. Real gangsters respect that. And what, what if the government came down, though, and gave, say, for instance, the government came down, gave all the young kids jobs, gave all the parents jobs? Do that stop the violence, or is it a bigger problem than money? No, that that'll stop a lot of the violence, you know what I'm saying? Because kids will be somewhat at the time of study, even being out here on the streets, you know, doing nothing, just scheming like a demon, you feel me? Right. Bro, I hear this rap shit get pretty expensive. Yeah. You got to invest in yourself? Is that a big thing out here, bro? Yeah, you got to invest in yourself, man, and keep your um your love on the ground, you, you know what I'm saying, and build your own grounding point, you know what I'm saying? Right. Build yourself in that, in that dirt as that seed, you know, and grow. You know, nobody want to give a hand out these days to even help people. I'm going to call that hand out. I just say, help somebody out, give them a hand. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Speak on that, bro. Kind of elaborate on that. Because I hear a lot about this not really a talent base. Because let me tell you real quick, V. You know, I kind of grew up thinking that if you could rap and you had the rawest bars, then somebody was going to come find you and give you a million-dollar deal. It don't really work like that, huh? No, it don't come like that. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know, today and... Today and you know what I'm saying years ago, you know what I'm saying it's music that's really messing these kids up. Like most of these rappers just talk about the loud pack and the lean, like and you know spending money. You don't really hear too many people talking about stacking the money up to saving it, doing what they go do with it. You know some of these people ain't got on and forgot they people were still in the hood. Same people was helping them out when they was messed up, but now they get money and they, you know what I'm saying, just mm. crazy with it. 
That's real too, bro. Hey, you fill me in on this too, bro. For 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 a fan of this of the Chicago scene and all the rappers that's coming out in Chicago, can you kind of give me an idea of what is of what it's like? Is all the rappers out there just looking for beefs, ready to kill people, ready to drill? Or is it really like regular hardworking people out there in this music shit? No, man. It ain't it ain't shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's a you know what I'm saying. Just got certain guys out here who um. Steady throwing rocks and hiding hands and hiding behind their guys and getting their guys either knocked off or either, you know what I'm saying, in jail, man. Most of these rappers who be rapping for Chicago ain't even about that, man. You can look mm-hmm. at the ones and tell who had this in their bloodline. Stuff from the ones who just say, okay, I, mommy letting me off the porch. It's time to get off the porch and go this way. Right. If a label offered you a 360 deal, would you take it? Um, first of all, I would. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just do myself out like that because I see how a lot of rappers who took 360 deals and then got eaten up. Me, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't for the go for that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got a lot of things. I, um, I went to school for, um, uh, solar, um, uh, business, then, um, uh, corporate business. So, you know what I'm saying? I understand the business. Okay. Are you a fan of the, the are you a fan of the rap beats on social media? The rap beats? On it's social um, media. If a rapper diss oh, you, yeah. would you diss him back on social media? Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to give him what he's looking for because, first of all, I ain't jumping his lane, but if that's what he's looking for, yeah, come on, i crash them. Because you shouldn't never jump in, man. So I'm going to feel me. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with the aspect of certain people saying that social media is dangerous, it can get you killed? Do you agree with that? Yeah, um, I, 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 yeah, social media could get you killed, but, um, another thing, man, I'm, I'm gonna tell you just like this, as long as somebody don't step on my toes in the rap game, this and me, steady coming at me, I'm just trying to get some money and put my city on, you feel me, mm. like we supposed to, man, and shut shit down. Right, hey, what new projects you got coming out, V? I'm fucking with you, bro, what you got coming out, what can the fans check out? Man, I got, um, I got a lot of stuff, um, Coming out, man, this um, summer. I'm just waiting for the summer right now, man. And I got so many things lined up. Like when I get back home and shit to Chicago, I'm out here in Michigan right now. But once I come back to Chicago, man, I got a lot of videos and stuff. Man, I'm out here right now getting things together, man. Okay. If one of these labels got up with you, bro, and somebody wanted to offer you, like, maybe uh, $250,000 for a three-album deal, is that something you're entertaining? Because I'm, I'm really intrigued about the contracts because everybody always tell me they're not fucking with the labels. They want to do it independent. I really don't understand why. Because, man, some of these labels to teach you, man. You know, a lot of things to give back. Like, I was just saying something about um DJ Tally and Ace Hood. Right. And DJ Kelly and then A Sub go because he told A Sub, I paid for everything that you had all them videos. So when you give me my million dollars back, that's when I let you go from the record label. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to say right. that I'm, I ain't going to sell, but I know what I'm going to do. But at the same time, some of that business and stuff don't be 100, man. And I done seen some of the best people in the industry that done got fucked over. Uh, that's real too, bro. Shit, the people want to get up with you, bro. One of these labels want to rock with you because they fucking with your mentality. Let me know your social media sites. Oh, yeah, man. My social media site, man. You probably have me on Instagram, man. You know, Dylan Seven Times, man. You feel me? That's for the uh, B I L L I N, number seven in the X. You know what I'm saying? You got a Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Y'all can get up with me at um, China Gang Dylan, you know, on. um. Twitter. And y'all to get on if y'all want to get up with me, you know, anything else, Facebook, anything, man. I'm on all of All you got to do is type in Jill. Uh, you willing to work with other artists, bro? When, if one of these artists reach out to you, want to do a feature, that's something you do? Oh, uh, yeah, that's for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I'm trying to put Chicago, uh, get us uh, together, man, on all this shit, man, to get, get down, man. Uh, yeah. Bro, before we get up out of here, I want you to give an upcoming artist some advice in this shit, bro. You got a rapper, he trying to get in this music shit, he don't exactly know what to do. What's one of the first things you did? What's a, what's something he needs to do in order to get in this shit, bro? The best thing I got to say is to him is stay focused. 
You know what I'm saying? Stay motivated and self-motivated is always to keep your love around you. No matter what you what you go through, man, keep it 100, man. Uh, and what's something you shouldn't do? Let us know something you shouldn't do. Oh, uh, man, listen, for my city, man, this is what I'm going to tell y'all, man, for John, what I'm on for my city is I'm trying to get Chicago to be 100 with each other. And all these motherfuckers doing with this, bring Chicago together, shit, and stop all the same. Man, they ass going to get rolled over, man. You feel me? 